I think it's going to get worse before it gets better. Well, hello there and welcome to this little video that I've decided to put together after Paramount decided to uh, basically do a trailer dump for all their upcoming projects that have actually had some level of production, I suppose. And uh, in this video, I'm going to be covering just two of them because I don't believe uh, that the Lower Decks one is worth covering. We're getting a final season of Lower Decks and I really couldn't care less at this point. I wanted to, of course, cover two of the releases that Paramount decided to splurge out all over the fan base. Uh, one, of course, is the wonderful and highly anticipated Section 31 show starring Michelle Yeoh as Philippe Georgiou from the oh-so-terrible show Star Trek Discovery. Now, we've known that this was coming for uh, quite some time now. It's some, been something of a, a passion project for the likes of Kurtzman and Co. The trailer was awful. The trailer was terrible. It was like a, a Suicide Squad meets bullshittery kind of trailer. It was awful. There is nothing recognisably Star Trek in this trailer whatsoever. This is tonally not Star Trek. It is narratively not going to be Star Trek. And it seems to me a great shame, really, because if you're going to do a Section 31 show, then you would imagine it would be something with a little bit more intrigue about it. It wouldn't just be balls-to-the-wall action. It, there would be a certain amount of espionage elements within the story, and it would show in the trailer. But this was literally just girl bosses, explosions, action, fight scenes. It was, it was literally just like someone wrote a bunch of random action-related scenes and just splurged them out into a trailer. You can't tell anything about where the story's going, what it's all about. You get some diatribe at the beginning about, uh, you know, emperors must put duty first otherwise the the empire is sure to fall or whatever like that and she's this is emperor Giorgio. it's like is it even going to be canonically uh connected to star trek discovery i mean you would think it would be better if it wasn't because it's star trek discovery but this by rights could be a hell of a lot worse than star trek discovery we just don't know at this point i mean it's a project that was going to be happening for quite some time this is what they splurged out all over our faces the trailer is an absolute farce it's ridiculous it looks terrible the movie looks terrible the voiceover work is atrocious i sat there absolutely mouth wide open throughout the entire entire experience just thinking what the hell have I just watched it was absolutely un unbelievable this looks shit it looks terrible absolutely awful go and watch the trailer if you really enjoy torturing yourself that's section 31 out of the way now I could do this into two videos but I'm just going to do it in one strange new worlds season three get a little teaser a little snippet <sighs> <laughs> Now, I get it. I do. They're trying to be a little bit campy. I say campy, a little bit cheesy, maybe, and a little bit... They're, they're trying to mimic the original series here, but I think instead of uh, mimicking it, they're mocking it in, in many ways. So, Pike and uh, Uhura and La'an and Chapel and Pelia are all taking the serum thing that turns Spock into a human in season two and they reversed it so they all become Vulc <laughs> they all become Vulcans oh my god they look all look so ridiculous and this and they all acting so ridiculous it's just cringy as hell Pallia doesn't turn because she's too perfect and because she's a different species and it doesn't work on her but yeah they all flounder about on the floor and they're becoming Vulcans and <laughs> Pike's haircut seriously how many different ways can they just mutilate a haircut that was just, I mean come on 
it's just the funniest thing I have ever seen. But it was painful to watch. This was painful to watch. Anyway, they all become Vulcans for this away mission. And then we have this kind of rock music in the background, and you've got the more slow bow walking down the corridor. And I just thought, I'm just thinking, this show isn't changed. They really are doubling down. On, uh, on everything that they believe makes this a good show. Strange New Worlds is the uh, is one of the biggest wastes of potential that New Trek has thrown out. And it is an awful show. And I do not enjoy it. I do not like it. I couldn't give a flying crap. It's just terrible. And it looks like they're going to double down. Even triple down. Uh, even more so. So they go, they go down on an away mission and they're back within like 30 seconds because that's the amount of attention span that the uh, writers of this show think that we have. And they're back on the Enterprise and they try to reverse what they've done to them and they figure out that they can't and that's the, 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 the clip over. There was not really a lot else going on. The dialogue was stupid. It was ridiculous. And I think they were aiming for some classic Star Trek kind of uh, eh, cheesiness to a degree and, and, and some of the humor styles and everything it really doesn't fit here this looks like a truly awful show and i don't mind saying it it looks awful it looks like another awful season it seems that uh that, that they are just doubling down on bad star trek the kurtzman era is now showing its its true colors i believe with the fan base and not a lot of the fans just aren't interested so yeah those those are my quick thoughts on these two little snippets of new star trek that we are to expect next year in fact i i think uh Section 31 says it's coming soon, so I don't know whether it'll be out this year or next. I really can't be bothered. It, it lands when it lands, and of course I will do a re review of that at some point uh, when I can muster up enough fucks to give, I suppose. But you are such a cool concept with Section 31, and I always enjoyed Section 31 uh, as, a, as a concept, and I thought in the right hands that would be really good, but this isn't. This is terrible. This is awful. Anyway, that's enough of me rambling. Uh, let me know what you guys thought of the trailers in the comments below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and all the usual YouTube stuff. That does help the channel to grow. Please join the Discord server if you haven't already. Uh, it is uh, There's a link in um, the, the About section on my channel. Come and have a conversation over there. We're quite a welcoming little community. Now, if you are interested at all, I, I will be doing live streams on Friday evenings. Uh, it's called an evening in 10 forward. Check out those videos on my channel. And until next time, you look after yourselves. You look after one another. Uh, for me, it is ta, -ta for now. Take care. Bye bye. Shelter, I know I'll only find peace in your smile.